It's good to have you with us from Sanford Stadium on campus at the University of Georgia. SEC football. The Auburn Tigers come in with a 6-2 and two record and Georgia post a 5-2. and two. As we get set to play, Georgia has won the toss and they have elected to receive. Damon Duvall will do the kickoff chores. Fred Gibson ever so dangerous as a kick returner. And Kenny Bailey is alongside. Here's the freshman from Waycross, Georgia. Saw that average of 28.6 two weeks ago. Florida elected to pooch kick. Keep it away from him. And Auburn may do the same thing, Vern. In practice, they weren't looking like they wanted to kick it to him. This one is going through the end zone, out to the 20. David Green is the starting quarterback. The redshirt freshman has had a really solid year. Here's the toss. Musa Smith back in the lineup. Uh, David Green, the lefty with Auburn roots. His grandfather, his dad, and his sister, Leslie. So go from the shotgun. That's for Ron Haynes in motion. They flip it out. That's a pass. Terrence Edwards, and it comes back. And here comes David Green. He's being chased by Dontarius Thomas. And Thomas saved a huge game. Out of the gun again. On first and ten. Green goes deep down the middle. He's got Gibson. Got it. Touchdown, Georgia. for the extra point 67 yards for Fred Gibson he's attempting to post his fourth consecutive game of 100 yards or more in yardage receiving and the two deep men Roderick Hood and Tim Carter for the Auburn Tigers this one bobbled picked up at the 10 by Roderick Hood Nice run out across the 40 to the 41 yard line. Now see the average number of plays and the average time of 209. Now what a moment for Daniel Cobb the uh, starting quarterback who first signed with the University of Georgia now finally playing in an Auburn uniform. Cobb signed in 1997 had uh, severe problems with a blood clot was not able to play in 97. He wound up going to Butler Community College. We'll continue with that in a second. Here is the handoff, and it goes to Carnell Williams, the freshman number 24. The Auburn offense. The offensive line, Simmons, McGarry, Nowlin, Pasillo, and Crittenden. Carnell Williams gets his first start today, 177 yards in the most recent outing. Carter, Marcel, Willis, and wideouts, and Lorenzo Diamond at tight end. Third and one. Strength of the Auburn team so far this year has been their offensive line. That appears to be enough. Carter in motion. Top back. Got him. Fumble. A scramble. And Auburn recovers. Georgia showed blitz, so Cobb changed the play. They are blitzing. Here's the foot. Carter has it, gets a block, comes right, and is tackled at the 46. And Vieira with a tackle. And here was the starting defense on the first play. Grant Pollock, David Jacobs, Jonathan Sullivan moves to the outside. The linebackers are Boss Bailey, Tony Gilbert, and Will Witherspoon. And the secondary, Thornton Phillips, Vieira, and Wansley. Third and 14. Play clock winds down to two. Bumble. This one forced by Charles Grant, recovered by Auburn. And the ball on to punt. Wansley is back to return it. Nice and high, heads to the left. And gathered in at the 20. Nice special teams play. First down and 10. 7 nothing. Georgia leads. Jasper Sanks is in the backfield. 
That's the handoff, breaks the tackle, moves it out to the 26-yard line. Georgia offense, a moment ago, here was the offensive line, Foster, Jackson, McGill, Brebub, and Stinchcomb. And on that first series, it was Musa Smith in the backfield with Veron Haynes, Edwards, Damian Gary, and Randy McMichael, the tight end. Gain of six for Sanks, second down and four. Sanks stays in the backfield. McMichael, the tight end. In motion, here comes the blitz. Green, right side, incomplete. Nice. Well, it's up the defense for the Auburn Tigers. Javar Mills, DeMarco McNeil, Spencer Johnson, and James Callier, the front four. Thomas Pounds and Dansby, the linebackers, and the secondary, Hood. Donna Young gets the start today, Rashad Walker and Carlos Rogers. Musa Smith and Veron Haynes in the I formation now on third down. Smith popped. No gain, fourth down. Averaging just under 44 yards per run. Hood, fair catch, grabs it at the 29-yard line. They lined up behind it, first and 10 from the 30. the 33 yard line but it has been very very close Williams wow. quick that was close he's been a kid that has really done a great job for the team and came in when Tyler Watts was hurt and got the win today shotgun stunts by the defensive line pass across the middle that appears ah the stretch and Auburn comes up Jay Ratliff comes in as a third tight end. Quarterback sneak, Cobb. Second effort, I think, got it. Yes, indeed. Three wide receivers come wide to the right side. DeAndre Green is the uh, outside man of the three. First and ten. Quick clip out of the backfield. This is Moore. The foul is holding by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the end of the foul, followed by first down. From the 31. Grant was there defensively. Second down and 18. Three wide outs to the left on second down. And Georgia blitzing. Wansley came and the pass incomplete, almost picked off. Third and 18. This time, bring three and drop eight. Cobb, deep left side, has a man. It's caught by Jarris McIntyre. Huge play for Auburn. First and 10, with Georgia leading 7-0. Huh? Flip, incomplete for McIntyre. And Green split wide to the left side. There's the toss. And Ronnie Brown, number 23. So far this year, and the true freshman, Carnell Williams, giving him a real boost. Third and seven. Four-person rush. Right side. Overthrown. Incomplete. That's going to bring on Damon Duvall, the star of three of the victories in succession. Most significantly, of course, the victory over Florida. This from 47 yards away. And it's going to stay right. After the unsuccessful field goal attempt, ball on downs goes to Green and Georgia. And here is Veron Hayes, number 35. In the other game, and they're now up 14-3, Oregon State. All right, thank you, Tim. Here's the pass out to the left side. It is caught by LeBron Mitchell. First and 10 from the 40. Green goes deep. Intended for Damian Gary. Ball was in the air so long that Carlos Rogers, he just got Auburn needs a big play from somebody on their defense. Uh, George is getting a lot of momentum right now offensively. Green comes to his left, being chased, pulls up and throws it away. Smart. Smart decision. 
the game down against Florida, but he says the rest of the year, they're going to go as fast as the officials will let them go. Nice move by Musa Smith. carries in this game we're going to have some problems. Ushered him out of the truck. I <laughs> think we've got the technical problems overcome. Here's the toss. Nice move. And Williams spilled after a nice gain all the way to the 42 yard line. One backs in the eye. And he gets a lead block from the fullback. Anticipation of playing here for the first time. I think he's done a pretty good job of managing his nerves in this game too. There's a great defensive play early on. Blitz. Cobb settles in, finds McIntyre. And McIntyre inside the 15 yard line with another big Auburn first down. Marcellus, Marcel Willis is the man in motion. And here is Williams. Not, only 10 touchdowns out of 27 trips inside. Williams again. Leg strength to get yeah. a couple of extra yards. Well, doing their job right now. First and goal from the two. Power eye set. Williams comes right, drives toward the goal line, does not get in. He's only 260 pounds, and they're going right after him. And they're going to do again, yes. Touchdown, Auburn. After the initial stop, Williams slid to his right. And penetrated the goal line. Cuts it inside the right upright. He has never missed an extra point in his career. That makes him a perfect 80 of 80. We're tied at seven. And tied up with six seconds to go in the quarter. Here is the ball's kick. Kenny Bailey at the goal line. is the 20 and we have reached the end of one with our score 7-7 seven, seven. we'll return to Sanford Stadium in Athens Georgia right after this message and a word from your local station eighty six thousand watching as we begin quarter number two Vern Lundquist Todd Blackledge Jill Arrington here as uh, the SEC presented on CBS on first down, screen pass, left side. Deron Haynes has it. And a nice tackle. Flag thrown. And second down. Shotgun formation, three wideouts. Gibson, bottom of the screen against Roderick Hood. Here comes the rush from the corner. That one tipped and almost picked off. Green again with a three wide receiver set. Auburn showing blitz and they are coming. Deep right side for Gibson as Green was nailed as he let it go. Chip game, they faced Florida there last year. Here's Kilgo's punt. Roderick Hood calls for the fair catch. They're feeling pretty good about their matchup up front against this Georgia defense right now. Daniel Cobb. Hands it off. That's the same play we yeah. saw down in the goal line a while ago. So Interesting, isn't it? Second down and 12. Follow the loss of two. Right side overthrown. Whoops. And Jarris McIntyre has had two huge catches here in the first half. 35 yards and 27 yards. The second one helps set up the tying touchdown. Cobb in trouble. Not the most mobile of men. And it's David Pollock. Pocket. That brings on Damon Duvall again. And this is a line drive punt. And very returnable. Here's Gary. He had a 72-yard punt return for a touchdown against Florida. 30-yard return of a 32-yard punt. First down, Georgia at the 31-yard line. Lucas Smith goes left. 
he's just going to have to kind of tough it out right now. And he's showing some grit right now running the football. Heads to his left again, similar play. And with 11.20 to go, third and five, Georgia yet to convert a third down. Green pops it out, dropped by McMichael. Oh, boy, he had an acre in which to roam. Who will attempt this from 44 yards away. 10 of 16 for the year. Blocked. Get down, Billy. On the block field goal, Auburn's got a first down and 10. Play fake. Cobb deep in the middle, diving try incomplete. Not being replaced. Noel Mazzoni told me before the game they wanted to get Campbell in early, run a couple bootlegs with him just to keep him fresh in case they need him later on. Campbell, the starter of the first five games of the year, and here is the rollout. Exactly as you said. Third and eight in a tie game. Blitz. Got him. Now watch Damon DeVall very closely. This one bounces at the 35, taken by Gary at the 31. He's something's wrong with him, Burn. I mean, he, he is not kicking like he's capable. The other receiver for the Georgia Bulldogs. Veron Haynes heads left. Tackle after a gain of one. Second down and ten. Second down and eight. Green got McMichael open left side. The fumble occurred. The sophomore tailback in Musa Smith who's been hurt, but they're the number two offense in the league. What a defensive play by Carlos Dansby. Makes it fourth and three. And now... Georgia appears to be going for it on fourth and three. He's still got it. David Green has the football. And he's got a man wide open. It's Edwards. Edwards heads left. Chased by Hood. Touchdown, Georgia. DeMarco McNeil better be careful. David Green, this is a freshman. A remarkable play fake. Or Musa Smith. The extra point is up, and Bennett knocks it through. Watch the fake. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Then step up and make the throw. The offensive line sold it. The running back sold it. And Terrence Edwards with the huge play for the Georgia offense. 14-7, Bulldogs. And the kickoff. That's a live ball. in this crowd aroused Cobb comes left DeAndre Green and there's Wansley fumble Georgia ball Jermaine Phillips Terrence Edwards split wide left on first down here's Green with a pump fake buys time now flushed out and goes right a flag is down. This is going to come back. Holding will be called. Foul is holding by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot, followed by the first down. The Dion never was part of the championship team, but certainly a big building block. Here's the handoff up the middle of the Moose Smith to the 29-yard line. Mark Richt, 40 years of age. Play fake. Green hit as he lets it go, but he's got a man. LeBron Mitchell, Gibson in a slot to the left. They'll toss it. Pass. They'll throw it. Bailey, good coverage downfield. Wow. And the ball is what intercepted. What a play by Carlos Dansby. Big rangey guy. Yeah, there's some contact there, but he made a play on the football. And his eyes were always on the football. And inside the five. The crowd is reacting to the uh, replay on the Giants scoreboard here. That could be close to a safety. No, they're going to say down at the one-yard line. But ever so close. 
Williams up the middle. Tackled at the eight-yard line. He can't afford to make a bad decision here with the football. Six interceptions in the last two games. They'll keep it conservative and hand it off to Williams. That will be close. No. Fourth and inches. And second guessers around the country are disappointed. Right. 5.30 to go. The toss right side. Williams. Nifty moves. In the history of the University of Georgia. Here's Williams coming left. David Jacobs, number 99. Home and home series began for real in 59. There's Williams out to the 31-yard line. He remains the lone setback on second down. Toss. Williams left side. 65 yards on the ground for today. Oh, my goodness. Tony Gilbert. And he's going to run it. This is not uncommon. He's got a first down, Auburn. We talked about Tuberville's tendencies to run out of punt formation. First down. Tim Carter's the guy they got to try to get the ball to. I mean, he's their big play guy if they want to throw it. Williams is stuffed on first down. Well, let's look by Georgia. Out of the backfield, Williams has it. Nice defensive play. And Cobb changing the play. Play clock down to three. Got it off. There's the pressure from the backside, and it's Charles Grant for the second time in the game. And here in the first half. Duvall. And this one looks more like Damon Duvall. But he may have outkicked. Uh... You see his numbers so far. Not a great percentage, but you'll take the yardage and the results. This time he hands it to Musa Smith. They come right. And the tackle made by Tavarius Pounds. Go to the head of the class. Keep it on the ground again. That's good for a first down after the 32-yard line. And Tommy Tuberville taking his team off. Very thankful to be down 14-7 because it could have been worse. 14-7, Georgia leads it at the half in Stanford Stadium. The difference in the game, a green to Edwards pass on fourth and three. Of 56 yards. And this is Hood chasing it. All right, Coach, thanks Thank a lot. All right, thank you, Jill. Here's the snap back to Cobb. He drills it out to the right side. That is a pass, not a lateral. Georgia's defense was on the field for 46 plays in the first half. Auburn's defense on there, only 26 plays. Second down and 10. That's Diamond, the tight end in motion. They'll toss it, and Carnell Williams comes left. Michael Owens with the block, but Joe Wilkins is on now. Wide to the right side, number 19. Here's Cobb back. A lot of time this time, and he goes into double coverage, and Walkins makes the catch, and then is popped. Garnell Williams has been busy at running back, and he's the lone setback here on first and ten. That's Walkins in motion. And off Williams, hit behind the line, tries to come back to his left. Let's see if Cobb can... Oh, Cobb with a pretty decent block, but Bier is there to make the tackle. Every now and then I had to make a block. <laughs> Second and 17. Not going to get it off. Screenplay. Right side. Williams tackled by the ankle. Tim Wansley again. Five men spread. Got him. Yep. Flag comes down. Free play. And it is incomplete. Feel force rushing the quarterback. Walkins redirected over to the right side. Georgia brings three and drops eight. Good cut block on the left side, and Walkins has the catch. Ronnie Brown is the running back now, number 23. Brown comes left. Breaks into the secondary. And is spilled. Now, Jarris McIntyre redirected to the left side. Vieira 
lays off him defensively. And here's Cobb. Quick setup. Right side. Catch is made. That was the black ones for academic achievement. Here's Cobb. Left side. Sliding catch is made by McIntyre at the 10-yard line. That is the third huge catch by McIntyre in the game. That one gained 19, first down and 10. Left side, it's Ronnie Brown. And he pops the tackle of Wansley and then is knocked out of bounds. Second down and four at the five. Tackle made by Charles Grant on Ronnie Brown. He made too many mistakes, but today, very under control. On third down, power eye, he will throw. Cobb looks back to the left. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Robert Johnson. And Duvall on for the extra point. Flag is thrown on the... The ball is good. Offside penalty against Georgia. Decline. 80-yard drive, 12 plays. Daniel Cobb with the touchdown toss. An impressive opening statement made by the Auburn Tigers. As they go 80 yards in 12 plays, here's Duvall with the kickoff. And it comes to the near side and just does. First down and 10. Here's the cross right side. And Jasper Sanks, number 28, spilled after a gain of one. Very important to get the ball in the hands of their big playmakers. Second down and eight. Here's Green going left side and overthrowing Edwards, who was open. Need a big third down play, and Gibson not in the lineup. Keep your eye on McMichael right here at the tight end. Green steps up, drills it. First down at the 40, 35-yard line. Edwards was open. But a couple big catches here in the ball game today. First down and 10 had a streak of 30 consecutive games end against Florida. Here's Green across the middle. The tight end, Mac Michael. First down and 10 here. Here's the toss. Right side flags down. So is Musa Smith. The foul is holding by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul, repeating the first down. Here comes the blitz, Green, and Veron Haynes can't hang on. All right, Jill, and she is dressed in a neutral color, Green. Here's David Green, and this one's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Young, and Dante Young with the first interception off David Green. And Auburn has won eight of the last nine games played here as a road team. Little flip out to the left. That might be a lateral. That might be a lateral. They're ruining nope. incomplete. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10. 14-14. Diamond. Cobb. Nice play fake. Tries to set it up to Diamond, but good coverage by Charles Grant. Wow, what a good defensive play. What a game by Charles Grant. Ten tackles, three sacks. And he has played heads-up football throughout. On third down, here's Cobb. Here comes Grant. There goes the pass picked off by Tim Wensley. His first interception of the season. And the celebration begins. As you said, his first of the season. On first down, motion, fumble. Green falls on it. There is no flag. Second down and 13. McMichael starts to the left side. Fake the draw. Here's Green going to a wide open receiver, Terrence Edwards. And he's popped out of bounds, but a big play. And a big conversion for the Bulldogs. Edwards with three catches for 89 yards. Here's the catch inside. No. The fullback, here he is right here. Green steps up, has to scramble, and loses two yards. Third and 12. Two wide receivers, wide right. Pressure coming, pass incomplete. Edwards, it was a little behind him. The inspiration of his life, he came back and played even after the funeral, but uh, obviously still very... And 
it's blocked again. Elton Moore again, picked up by Roderick Hood. And for the second time in the ball game, Bennett has a field goal block. And Alton Moore and Don Terrius Thomas, there they are. And they're just going to kind of get a running start and time it and go up. Jason Campbell on at quarterback for the second time. He ran it the last time out. He gives it off to Darnell Williams. He's got some room. And makes the most of the opportunity. This offensive line at Auburn, a very good group up front. Jason Campbell on a quarterback, hands it off again to Williams, but just behind the block. Unfortunately for BYU, <laughs> that 109th ranked schedule is going to get even worse yeah, after this right. game. On second down, here's the ball to the 36 yard line. In a tie game, 14 all, Williams out of the backfield. Campbell straight drop back. Incomplete, fourth down. This will be from 53. And a good place for a fake here, too. This is, uh, got to be aware if you're Georgia. He'll try it, and it'll come up short. But there is a flag down. Looked like Wansley might be guilty of a late hit. They're going to say five yard running into the kicker. I think that's enough. It is. It looked like he took a pretty good angle, and he gets Duvall on the way down. Duvall comes down on Wansley's back and got the penalty. First down and 10. The handoff goes to Carnell Williams. Another flag is dropped. First foul is holding by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul. For that, a dead ball foul. Yep. The Georgia defense on the field wearing them down with this big offensive line. Five on the play clock. And a missed tackle in the backfield. Another play. Ball. Foul was an illegal block in the back by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot with the first down being repeated. The game is tied, but your team is starting to seize the momentum in the football game. Auburn goes out of the eye. Williams darts to his left. Nice uh, change of motion. Great names as a part of this ancient rivalry. Williams stumbles. Dropped at the 24-yard line. So regular personnel, a lot of to ask of your linebackers in this kind of formation. But Quarterback draw. Campbell. Georgia ready for it. It'll bring on Damon Duvall. Duvall from 33 yards away to break the tie. There's a Duvall kick. Yep. Solid. And Auburn up 17-14. Tommy Tuberville, third year head coach. Auburn. With the kick off. Gibson, Bailey are deep. And this one will be uh, taken by Kenny Bailey. First down and 10 at the 20. 17-14. Here's the toss in the reverse. It goes to Terrence Edwards, but Auburn stayed home. Alvin Moore, number 90, not fooled at all from the previous spot with the first down being repeated. Giving them all to the University of Georgia. Green with a play fake. Let's it go. Deep for Edwards. Overthrown. Double coverage. Rashad Walker with... That is the end of three from Athens, Georgia with our score 17-14. We'll return right after this message and a word from your local station. Great mascot. On second and 20. Keep it on the ground and not get anything, and that just uh, goes. And Georgia looking at a third and 24 from the six-yard line now. Green comes to his left, fires it. It's caught by LeBron Mitchell, but that's way short. Good field position now. Should be Auburn's. Nice high. This is a terrific punt. Really well done, and a fair catch 
all the way back at the 41 yard line with 14 minutes left I think this is the most important drive of the game for the Georgia defense and off goes to Williams he dances to the outside breaks a tackle and moves the pile all the way out to the 50 yard line Auburn with a second down and one after a nine yard gain and they're going to go with a quick out of the timeout they hit they hurry before Georgia was set but Nice recovery by the Bulldog defense. It is third and one. High formation. Williams with his 33rd carry of the ball game. They just can't afford to lose any more defensive linemen. I mean, they're, they're down to the bare minimum right now, and they need everybody they can get. Here's the toss, Williams. And again, he maintains his balance. The ball comes out. No, they ruled him down. Down by contact at the 42. David Pollock is hustling at the end of this play. Gets over there. Wow. Ooh. Close. Is his knee down before the ball comes out? Hard to tell from there. And they go to uh, Williams again. That's for the entirety of this series. Third and three. Play fake. Still has it. And settles for nice. Williams. And the tackle comes from Chris Clemens. Brown is the uh, tailback in the eye now on first down and 10. He gets the toss and hits to the left. Knocked out of bounds by Wansley. His seventh in the last three games just kind of gave them the momentum to go with Jason Campbell. Here's Brown skipping his way into the secondary and into the arms of Biera and Tony Gilbert. Well, 10 points might be insurmountable for him with 9.52 left. Third down and four. Walkins in a slot to the right. And Campbell goes for Walkins. It's incomplete. Fourth and four. Blitz. Grant. What a game Charles Grant is playing. Four fingers means four sacks, not fourth quarter. Ball on downs, first and ten. And Green and the Georgia offense back on the field. Four-man rush. Green goes deep, man wide open. Fred Gibson gets by Hood. Chase down from behind. Only the second catch for Gibson, but this one for 43 to complement the 67-yard touchdown reception. Blitz. Green caught and dropped at the 26. Timely. And second down 19 from the 26. Oh, what a big play. Out of the shotgun, Gibson. Lined up wide. Green with a lot of time. But good defensive coverage, and he has to throw it away. Nice coverage is right. You've got to get Billy Bennett in range where he can get the ball up high. He's had two long field goal attempts blocked by Arvin already. Third and 19, Green screen pass across the middle. And McMichael, who has had problems hanging on to the ball. Bennett, two blocked today, three in the season. This from 43 yards out over the top. at the 23 yard line so Daniel gives him a little bit more ability to change things at the line of scrimmage a little better feel for the overall offense and maybe a little better pocket thrower hand off to Williams on first down and he breaks loose all the way out to the 39 yard line before Wansley makes the cat that's first and 10 at the 40. McIntyre, he's out of bounds, notched at 17. Two on the... Uh, no, he has no clock. idea. Doesn't see it. Ball is snapped. Dead ball. Dead ball, absolutely. You know, the, the Georgia ball. defense... The game by the offense. 
penalty is five yards from the previous spot and still second down. But that scoring drive by Georgia only was five plays in a minute and 11 seconds, so it's still a pretty tired defense on the field. Here's Cobb's screen pass, perfectly set up. And Cardell Williams dances out of a tackle, dances out of another, and here he goes. They need to block Wansley. Wansley makes the play, but he is out of bounds at the three-yard line. What a play by Wansley. Three, I yeah, three tight ends in for Auburn. A lot of big bodies up there. And off Williams to the one. Well, he's one carry away from tying a school record for number. And he's trying to break the tie. Here's his 38th carry. Memorable because he scores on it. He equals the school record for numbers of carry in a game at 38. And the touchdown puts Auburn on top. Got it. Auburn answers quickly. They break the tie and go back on top. 24-17. And two timeouts here. Here's the kickoff from Duvall. This one will go through the end zone. Big kick. Have uh, watched the heck of a game. First down and ten. Green out of the spread. And will throw. Goes to his right down low. And it's caught by Terrence Edwards. Tim, it's uh, second down and three. Green will throw. Will run. Picked up the first down after the 33 yard line. I'm going to make the point again. There's no need to rush for David Green in Georgia. We've got lots of time here. Out it comes left side to Damian Gary. Got a nice defensive play tomorrow. Second down, 11. Four man rush. Green has time. Now flushed out of the pocket because of coverage. And is tackled by Mark Brown, number 52. A real costly penalty against Auburn great coverage down the field and at the end of the play they did their job and then just a, a foolish penalty by a freshman Carlos Rogers Gibson's put bottom of the screen to the left side two wide receivers not right here comes the blitz and Brown Haynes gets the handoff Mark Brown the middle linebacker was uh, 418 to go and the handoff to Haynes breaks a tackle Rumbles down to the 30 yard line. Jasper Sanks is on. Here's Green. Drills it. Gary at the 12. Gibson wide right. Green. Sanks. Two and a half yard game. Just inside the 10. Second down and seven from the nine. Edwards in motion. Blitz. Green drills it in the end zone. Tipped. McMichael. Edwards left. Gary right. On third down from the nine. Blitz. Behind the receiver incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Rashad Walker. Twin receivers left. Gibson right out of the backfield. That's Haynes. Across the middle. Incomplete. Fred Gibson, who says his first love is basketball and played that sport until his senior year in high school when he uh, took up football for the first time. Now Georgia second down and four. Auburn, rather. Georgia can stop it one more time. And here is a, another run by Williams around the left side. Third and one. Power eye set. Williams. No. Stop. What a play. Call timeout. Stop the clock one more time. Not to give it back to the Georgia Bulldogs. Nice job by Duvall just getting it out of there. There's Gary. Good open field tackle at the 47-yard line. Mike Gilliam is on the field now. Number 26 left side. Here's Green. Pumps once, breaks a tackle, heads left. Stopped at the 42. There is a ball loose. They're saying he was down. Yes, they are. 
A lot of clock moving here. David Green needs to speed up his tempo a little bit. Second down, he comes to the left. He's hit as he lets it go, but he gets the catch made. Terrence Edwards, third and one. Handoff, Sanks. First down at the 22. The clock will stop while they move yeah. the chain. Terrence Edwards, a big ball game today. He and Gary are left. Here's Green back. Goes toward the end zone. Got a man at the one-yard line. Clock stops again. Another first down. 16 seconds. Ball marked ready for play. Clock starts. Green. Handoff. Amazing. I can't gotta believe it. Got to get him lined up. Get down. I don't believe the call. Three seconds. Two. One. Over. Inexplicable. Jasper Sank stopped at the one. Time runs out. Final score 24-17. Ball game ends with Jasper Sanks tackled by Mark Brown.